Hey everyone, happy Tuesday. And on this episode, we're gonna show you how we fit this into that. Stay tuned. And all right, for those that don't know us, my name is Adam, my girlfriend's name is Kelsey, and we decided to give up our lease in Seattle and live and work full time from the road. Uh, we do a ton of camping already um, out of my Jeep and our rooftop tent, and we decided, hey, let's make this happen full time, take advantage of this work from home situation, um, and really work from anywhere. Uh, we are currently down in Tampa visiting her parents for the holidays. We did my parents up in Maryland um, prior to uh, me coming here. Uh, I met her here, and now we're combining all of our stuff. Um, we already know it fits because we tried it. We wouldn't try that first here on camera. We want to show you how we fit all of our stuff for living indefinitely in the Jeep with room for two dogs in the back. So it has been a process, a trial and error process, and I want to share that with you guys today. So let's get started. All right, so a couple of tenants I thought I'd share before we dive into the specifics of where we store things. Uh, one, first, with the Jeep and really any overland vehicle is that you have to maximize what we call negative space, right? So space where things just aren't designed to go. And you see a lot of negative space in cars um, above you, generally. Above you, on the sides, and the sides of the vehicle, and underneath the seats. This is, this is all space where things aren't designed by the manufacturer to go. And I actually got a lot of inspiration from watching YouTube videos about the space station of all places because they are masters at using negative space. One, because they don't they have a very finite amount of it, but two, they don't have the limiter of gravity. So gravity limits you from using like an overhead space or a side space where things would just fall over. Yet in space, you can stick things pretty much anywhere and have them stay there without gravity. And so that, that was my inspiration for the, the modifications that we've done in the Jeep. Um, and so, so definitely keeping that in mind. And the second one is just, we don't put anything anywhere that is just for, or for looks or for, um, uh, because it fits. Everything is because it fits and because it's, it's very functional where it is. And that, that's taken a ton of time to dial in. Sometimes we, we find, oh man, I need that. And it's at the bottom of the storage. So it's like everything out and grab that. And so we've been dialing in, you know, based on frequency of use and when we use it, where to put things either on the roof inside the Jeep, underneath the floorboards, etc. So um, those are the two guiding principles that we had as we uh, looked to, to uh, embark on this endeavor. All right, and so right away you can see in the back we have the Vector off-road shelf, which is great. You know, just on its own, this pretty much doubles your storage capacity in the rear. Um, when we talk about negative space, right, this is all negative space up here that you cannot use unless you have some a shelf or something to strap it to the roof. So this, you know, there's, we couldn't store things up here without without this shelf, which is great. Second is this uh, custom drawer kit we had built in Seattle um, by a carpenter. Um, this thing has been is, is amazing. It's three drawers uh, plus the drawer under here where we keep our silverware, and the fridge slide is attached to that. So while it may not have um, increased our storage in terms of volume, it has exponentially increased our storage in terms of organization. And to me, that drives me crazy uh, out here uh, when we're overlanding is, is not having things where they should be, as Kelsey can attest. Um, on the sides here, we have uh, a rainproof bag, which I keep all my recovery gear in, which uh, I'm not going to take out because I, I rarely have to use that, thankfully, but it's there, peace of mind if we need it. And again, more negative space that just doesn't get used uh, otherwise. And the final piece I'll add under here is underneath um, this drawer and really where, where the OEM um, spare parts go, there's a tray under here, right? And so we still kept that tray so you can pull this drawer out of the way and still access a tray that goes along the, the width of the, uh, the rear cargo area, which is great. Again, keep a lot of recovery gear, flat tire repair, stuff that I hopefully don't need very often, but that keeps under there. So again, maximizing um, that negative space. All right, as we transition to the back seat, we've made a ton of modifications in here. Um, so we have this Goose Gear sleeping platform. It's actually the full delete. We, do, we took out the rear seats, which is, is massive because this is where the dogs go, All right? So there's no gear back here that impedes uh, Dawson on this side and our new dog on the left-hand side. So what this Goose Gear plate offers you is the storage unit basically underneath where the seats would have been. So we have these four cubbies here that pop open, they lock, and that basically gives you storage 
across the entire length of the chassis underneath where the seats would have been. This has been a game changer for sure. Um, it's lockable, it feels secure. It's, you can't see it from the sides. Um, it's sturdy, I've sat back here. You can sleep back here, that's what it's designed for. Um, and it, it certainly, you know, it almost, it gives you a ton of more storage capacity. And it, it keeps things out of the way. You know, we keep things in our here that we don't necessarily use very much, very often, or that we want to keep out of sight. All right, we move to the attic. Probably one of my favorite modifications that we've made is uh, this netting that we've used with this track bungees to create this huge attic across our, uh, between our roll bars here. And this gives us tons of extra space. Again, if you talk about negative space, this is probably our best usage of that negative space. All of our jackets, coats, anything that we use and just grab the dogs, uh, bedding and all of that goes up here, um, which again, just provides us a ton of extra space. Um, and all that stuff normally would just be lying around um, and, and just a pain in the ass. So we look at the back of the seats here, uh, took advantage of the Jeep's molly, pa uh, molly panels to create um, or just use some molly bags. Uh, keep a lot of just stuff we don't generally use very often, light sticks, um, keep my ammo here. Um, here is all a ton of recovery gear as well, straps, um, the winch, um, controller, so this is plenty of storage for us here and just continue looking to dial it in, but uh, we've been very happy with this and you'll see as we start to bring stuff in here exactly how much space these provide. And up front, um, not a ton of in terms of storage, but a couple of key principles. Uh, we utilize both under seat options. Uh, because of the goose gear, you can pull the seat forward and now there's its own compartment under each seat. So under my seat, I keep the WeBoost um, uh, amplifiers under there, some knives, um, gloves, etc. some stuff I use just to grab and go under Kelsey's seat as well. Um, what we did for the, the roof was we got this uh, Molly panel by JCR Off-Road, which um, allows me to attach the CB radio, some of our walkie-talkies and other, other gear, um, and uh, a little flip down where we organize some uh, just stuff that we use on a daily basis. So in terms of storage, not much additional up here, uh, but certainly um, some things to make our lives easier. All right, and some new things we have just for this trip alone. Uh, the first thing is this roof rack carrier by Yakima. Um, I got this right before we left off Craigslist, actually. It's been great, store some bags up there. Um, we wouldn't be able to do this trip without that bag alone, uh, especially with some of this extra stuff that we're carrying for this work from, work from anywhere um, situation. So, and I'll get into that in a little bit. Additionally, as we come around the back, um, this basket on the LOD destroyer rear bumper tire carrier has been phenomenal. Keep uh, our heater up here and some of the leveling blocks, which uh, you know just allows us to some more space to carry things. Trasheroo, you know, when it's not carrying trash, it carries wood, some other supplies that we just don't want to get inside the vehicle as well. And the uh, final piece that we're we're using today is this um, e-trailer cargo hitch basket, um, which allows me to carry a big box on the back, which again we wouldn't be able to do. Uh, this trip without this. Um, little little issues securing it to the hitch, a lot of rattle uh, and trying to work on securing that, but uh, in terms of utility, high utility. All right, we'll do a quick walkthrough of just the stuff that we keep in here uh, real quick to give you an idea. Um, we have our Mac tracks here. We have the ladder for the tent, which fortunately you can't stow inside the tent like my previous one. Camera bag, which keeps a lot of the, the camera accessories. I have two of these inserts. One is uh, for all the drone gear, uh, Mavic 2, Mavic Mini 2, and uh, my two Sony uh, mirrorless cameras. I have two um, gas rotopacks, packs, one propane generator, my Dometic deal, or uh, PBL 40, PB40 uh, battery, which powers the fridge right now. We have an air compressor, our two winter jackets. This is a pop-up dog kennel. Um, these two side bags here are what we put on the roof, two waterproof bags by front runner. These have been phenomenal, been tested almost immediately. Here we have a myriad of shoes, and there's more boots back there. Probably need to pare down that at some point. Uh, we have our Jackery 250, which is great for charging phones, cameras, drones, etc. This right here is an annex room for the awning, so when we park it for a week at a time or so, we're gonna, we can pull the awning out and then attach the annex to it to have a room with a bottom and four walls, which would be great. More bags, this is, where I, this is a day bag that I keep up front, um, and down below has a jacket, some of my warming items, in case I need that, or I don't have to get into my overall luggage. This is my luggage bag, which we keep up top. Here's all of our gym equipment, our bands, all that. Uh, we have a solar panel, which plugs into the Jackery, which is great some of the dog jackets, 
And uh, down here we have Kelsey's Silky bag, uh, two camp chairs by Front Runner. We have my tripod for the camera, my travel guitar called the Gatelli, um, which I just got yesterday. Pretty excited about that. Um, two dog beds, pillows, some blankets, some more jackets. Uh, here we have our um, shower room. It's a one person shower room pop up tent. Um, here's a GoPro bag. Um, here's my FPV drone setup, which I haven't really gotten into yet. Just been busy getting ready, but look forward to diving into that. Dog bag, all the dog stuff goes in here, the food, toys, etc. And as we come up here, uh, here's the, the bin that we're using for the back on the hitch carrier. Uh, we stores two stand or table sitting desks for our laps, for our computers. Uh, we have a propane tank, some boots, and our heater. So um, that is pretty much the myriad of stuff that we have that goes into this vehicle. And I am going to fit it all in there and show you what it looks like. All right, so here we have the back shelf. It is empty right now, and I will fill it. All right, there you go. So I got the battery back here. I got the air compressor, the generator, my bag, camera bag, the two water jugs. Behind that, I have the gym gear and the FPV drone all up here on the Vector off-road um, shelf. And I probably still have some more room uh, back here for something if I wanted to put that back on the air compressor, so we will see. All right, we're going to move to underneath the floorboards now. All right, so I've opened up all the storage bins back in the back seat, and we're going to fill these with various stuff. All right, so filled up the, the uh, base of the floor here with uh, the camera gear, both the drone and the uh, mirrorless camera inserts. Um, got Jackery, a lot of our just miscellaneous stuff, and uh, Kelsey's silky bag, the like walkable sleeping bag down there. I have all the FPV equipment over there, spare batteries, etc. Um, and then I have my day pack, some boots uh, down there. And then underneath the center here is the uh, GoPro bag. So again, full. All right, so now we're gonna move to the negative space on both sides of the vehicle. Uh, this is a great area to store things. You see right now, I already have a waterproof bag stored in here. Uh, that's where I keep all my toe, sticks, uh, toe straps, toe hooks, um, anything that's off-road recovery gear related there out of the way don't have to worry about it but there's again there's a ton of space here so engineered uh, a stratchet strap from front runner to uh, go here to act as kind of a barrier so things don't fall where the fridge goes uh, and then i'll show you what i do on the other side as well all right so you can see on this side i utilize the stratchet the stretchy ratchet strap uh, to put Kelsey's work bag up here so that keeps it from falling down out of the way easy access which is also a, a requirement for her for her computer or her journal her books and stuff like that so she can just reach back here and grab it and it's still out of the way all right we come over to the other side here um, we have a couple things uh, starting off the base here is the, our Julka shower it's a one-man uh, shower um, pops up no assembly required and pops back down and allows us to shower in there with some privacy. It's awesome, we'll do a separate uh, tutorial or walkthrough on that. Uh, I have my uh, tripod here, I have my new travel guitar or my guitar ukulele or guitarelli or whatever it's called. Um, and then down here I have a bag for all my uh, tools, a big bag of everything, nuts, bolts, anything, replacement parts that I could possibly need that would break or need to be replaced on the vehicle. And like I said about maximizing space, so in between the shelf and the, the, where the tire is, there's a, a little gap, and I fit my Crocs there, my uh, slipper Crocs, and she has her Tevas that we put right there. So again, maximizing every little nook and cranny. All right, and then on top of the, the shelving unit, I put the bag where we keep all the dog's toys, um, treats, leashes, collars, bags, etc. cetera. Uh, next to it, I have a, a bag for all the food, which is there. And then again, to maximize space, I put the, the briefcase solar panel up against the shelf. I have a little Velcro here, which secures it to the shelf. Uh, and again, out of the way, out of sight. As you can see, dog area still preserved, uh, but we're getting closer. Okay, and while we're here, uh, put the attic together as well. So again, it's in order of stuff that we use and don't use. Uh, to the rear, we have both of our heavy winter jackets. Don't use those very often. That's on uh, the back end with the access point being up here. We have both of our pillows, which we'll use every night. And then we have both of our day bags, our go bags, which really is enough for a day's worth of stuff. Change of clothes, change of socks, underwear, 
um, toiletries, stuff that we'll use every day. It's the closest to the access point we can grab and put back without disturbing most of the stuff. Okay, and here you can see I put the uh, blanket over uh, the pine just to keep protect it, uh, and then lay down our front runner chairs, camp chairs. And then laying down the two dog beds over that. And so here you have two, two spaces for two medium-sized dogs, uh, and it works out really well. And then lastly, we have the two front runner bags. All this stuff goes on the roof. We have the bigger one here, which has luggage, our down comforter, stuff we'll use every night to take off. This one has the annex and other stuff we may not use, uh, the max tracks and the ladder, this goes on top. We have the big bag here that goes on the back on the hitch, it has a lot of crap in it. Uh, probably need to organize this a little better, um, but the big piece of the propane takes up a majority of the box along with our desks for our work. And then just a lot of other just livable stuff that we use probably every day. So it'll, it'll be back there, easy to get, convenient. So we did it. We went from that mess to all packed up and ready to go. We're just gonna leave the stuff in the garage till tomorrow morning and uh, get it going. The last bit we have is the fridge and Kelsey's been inside packing that. How are we looking? Pretty good, just have to finish chopping the vegetables for food prep and then we'll be ready to go. That's great, Kelsey does good work in Kelsey's kitchen corner. The Kels kitchen. Kels kitchen. We're still workshopping, yeah. workshopping that, but I'm gonna run out, fill up the propane, and then have a nice night with your mom last night, play some games, and then we'll hit the road tomorrow morning. Yep. First stop, the Golden Arches. Debatable. <laughs> All right, see you in the morning. Da, 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 da.